This is the third installment of my Bigger Than You Know series, where each episode I feature a different company that's much bigger than you've probably realized. The first one is about Mars, and the second one is about Nestle, so I figured I'd conclude the trilogy of chocolate-related companies by talking about Hershey. The fact that I've been keeping the series going for three episodes and have yet to venture outside of companies known for their chocolate helps prove that there's a lot of companies out there that are are so much bigger than you know. In 1894, a man named Milton Hershey started Hershey's Chocolate Company. He's generally viewed as being a really cool guy, and for good reason. There's an inspiring story to be told about how he started the company and how it existed in its early days. A story I hope to tell in a future video, but for today, I'm just going to leave it at that. The Hershey Bar was created in 1900. That's the bar that represents the company. It's over 100 years old and still sold practically everywhere and recognized by practically everyone. If you knew only one thing made by Hershey, it's probably that. In 1907, they introduced Hershey's Kisses, another product that's been going strong for well over a hundred years. I'd say these are two of the most iconic Hershey's products and possibly two of the most iconic products ever made. The next year, they introduced the Hershey Bar with almonds. 1925 was Mr. Good Bar, which isn't far off from a Hershey Bar with peanuts. In 1939, after releasing a few variations of the Hershey bar, they released what I would consider a sequel, the Hershey Special Dark Bar. It's a Hershey bar that replaces milk chocolate with dark chocolate. And then why not go forward all the way to 1995 where they released part three of the Hershey bar called Cookies and Cream. And just last year, they had a big release with Hershey's Cookie Layer Crunch. Other Hershey originals include Crackle, which is a lot like Nestle Crunch if you're familiar with that. Also the Symphony Bar, What you might call it. Of course, their chocolate syrup that people used to make chocolate milk and ice cream sundaes. At this point, I doubt I said much that you didn't already know, and that's because all of Hershey's original products, the ones that they created and launched themselves, have the Hershey's name all over them, really big most of the time. They have that signature Hershey design and taste. When people think of Hershey's, they think of these products. But it doesn't stop there. If it did, the title of this video would be a lie, and so would their financial statements. In 2016, Hershey made 7.4 billion in revenue, of which 720 million of it made it to the profit line. It's valued on the stock market at 23 billion dollars. Now, Hershey bars are big, but not big enough to account for these numbers. Hershey has made some key mergers and acquisitions over the years. In 1963, they merged with the Reese Candy Company. So all of the Reese's sold in the past 54 years have been sold by Hershey. And this is a hugely successful line of candies. Keep in mind, this includes not just Reese's peanut butter cups, but Reese's sticks, Reese's pieces, Reese's miniatures, even those ridiculously massive cups you see around Christmas time each year. In addition to just about 20 other products with that signature orange and yellow label. In 1977, they made an acquisition that gave them Twizzlers all the flavors. In 1996, they acquired all of the North American candy operations from a company called Leaf. As a result, they acquired a whole new set of candy brands that you may recognize. Hershey's now makes the Heath Bar, including Heath's shell ice cream topping and everything else with the Heath name on it, and also Jolly Ranchers, Whoppers, Milk Duds, Zero, Good and Plenty, and the Payday Bar. In the year 2000, they made a bit of a departure from the candy business and went into the mint and gum business. They did this by acquiring Brett Savers Mints, Icebreakers Mints, and Bubble Yum Bubble Gum. In 2011, they acquired Brookside, which is another chocolate maker. 2015 may be one of their most surprising acquisitions to date. It was Crave Jerky. So if you see that particular brand of jerky somewhere, they're oddly enough brought to you by Hershey. 2016 was their most recent acquisition with Bark Thins, another chocolate-centered company. So Hershey's is 
pretty big at this point, but there's still a few deals they've made that I've neglected to mention. In 1969, they made a licensing deal with Nestle to make Rolo in North America. So if you're from North America and you eat a Rolo, Hershey made it. If you're from anywhere else in the world, Nestle made it. And as of 1988, the same thing goes for Kit Kat. Also in 1988, Cadbury. Hershey paid $300 million to acquire Cadbury's North American operations. Cadbury is a much bigger name in the UK than in North America. In the UK, Hershey is completely uninvolved, and it even has a different recipe. But for the North American market, it's all Hershey. That Cadbury name only seems to get North American attention during Easter because of the Cadbury cream eggs and the chocolate bunny. That's actually the only way I recognize the name. but. Be aware that Cadbury makes much more than that. They also make Dairy Milk and Caramello and the York Peppermint Patty in addition to Almond Joy and Mounds. Hershey is big. It's really big. Bigger than you knew. But here's something interesting about them. They're focusing on getting bigger. I read an interesting article from March of this year from Food Business News. There's one sentence in it that I want to take a look at. Here it is. To improve top-line growth, Hershey is seeking to broaden its presence in the $1 trillion global snack market through innovation and acquisition. There's three important things I get from that one sentence. One is when they say they're trying to broaden its presence in the snack market. The article also mentions how Hershey has the second biggest market share in the snacking market, which is 7.5%. When I was naming all those products that are made by Hershey, I'm sure I said some where you never realized Hershey made them, but I doubt I said many that you were shocked to hear. In my last two installments of the series, there were some shocking revelations, but not here. The most unexpected products were probably the Crave Jerky or maybe the Mints, but it's all basically part of the snacking industry. You snack on Reese's, you snack on Twizzlers, you snack on Jerky. Jerky. My first thought was that if they want to grow bigger, they should try to enter another industry. That's what Nestle did. And that's probably the only way they can enter the next level. When comparing Nestle to Hershey, Nestle is over 10 times bigger. If Hershey ever wants to grow that big, they're pretty much going to have to venture outside of candy and snacks. But entering another industry is a tall order. And it's looking like either they don't feel like they're ready to do it, or more likely, they're just not interested in doing it. They're only looking to expand further into their existing market, and that makes sense. It's what they've been doing for over a hundred years, and they've become pretty good at it. The second thing I get from this article is the word global. They want to expand internationally. Hershey is really big in North America, but not that big anywhere else. Of their 7.4 billion in sales I mentioned earlier, 6.5 billion of it is from North America. And if you recall, in the cases of Cadbury, Kit Kat, and Rolo, they're only in charge of the North American part of the business. It seems whenever they acquire or make a licensing agreement with an international company, they only seek the North American part of their business. So geographic expansion outside of the continent looks like a great possibility that they're looking to take advantage of. The third thing I get from that one sentence is the word innovation. They're not just looking to expand through acquisitions, they're looking to create new products that could earn them the market share. They sort of say in that that same article that there have been some underwhelming product launches in the past few years. And for that, I'm looking at their cookie layer crunch. From what I can tell, there were high hopes for it. An article from Business Wire from last year says it's one of the most anticipated innovations from the iconic Hershey's brand in more than 16 years. And it earned some of the highest consumer reports of any product ever launched by the company. It took them 18 months to perfect, and it just looks like expectations could not have been higher for the company. I have no idea how well it did. 
I will say, it came out almost a year ago, and I haven't even heard of it until now. I'm just guessing that it didn't live up to those high expectations. But they're at it again, in a big way. Remember their trilogy of Hershey bars? Well, they're getting ready to launch part 4, Hershey's Gold. It's caramel, peanuts, and pretzels. The launch date is set for this Friday, December 1st. This is a huge attempt at product innovation. The first bar is from 1900. The second one is from 1939. The third one is from 1995. And now the fourth one is in 2017, only two days away. It's pretty big talk around the Hershey company, so it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Hershey's is bigger than you know, and they're trying to get even bigger. How does this affect us as consumers? Well, some of the existing snack brands you know may end up being produced by Hershey instead of whoever's doing it now. But we probably won't even notice that. We may see some new Hershey's creations. We will in two days for sure. And if you live outside of North America, you may become more familiar with this brand in upcoming years. Let me know in the comments, were you shocked to learn any of these brands were produced by Hershey? Also, what do you think of their plans of expansion? Will they be successful? And where do you think they should focus their efforts? And most importantly, are you going to try the new Hershey's Gold Bar. It's only the fourth launch of its kind in 117 years, so you may want to be a part of it. And any other thoughts, leave them in the comments as well. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Thank you for watching.